What's up, my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade. And as most of you know by now, last week when the game introduced the next phase of the DLC, they also made some major improvements to the Wheel of Fate. Therefore, today, I wanted to take a few minutes, go over some details, and more importantly, show you one of the best farming areas you can hit up in this second phase of the DLC and just stack an unlimited amount of Lost Souls. Now, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. And remember we are currently having a giveaway for an xbox series x to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on twitter and the winner will be announced on july 4th of this year now there happen to be a few tips i'd like to pass along but i will save those until the end of the video right now we'll get into the farming method itself now you can see here i'm in dreamvale overlook i'm going to go to the new mirror and just load into the dlc now once you're there all you want to do is get to i think it's the third or fourth stage of the dlc which is where you're finding the pirates and the crabs the good news is that you can get to that point of the dlc pretty quickly maybe five minutes tops you can run through the first area with pretty much not stopping that much now when you get to this part which you can see right here we're at that pirate cove and from the place that you load into this area all you're going to do is veer to the left you're going to go through that little archway that had teeth you're going to head towards these buildings and my friends this is where you're going to find all the pirates they will just keep spawning over and over again now, the best part about this is that you can stay here for as long as you want it doesn't matter i've had a session where i've spent 10 minutes here i had a session where i spent 30 minutes here again you're going to stack that lost souls and since they made those changes to the wheel of fate it happens to really be worth your time to actually spin that wheel now we all know that initially or up until the last update you know you weren't getting that much loot but now since they've made the improvements i've seen a real change in not only the quality of the loot but you're also getting moon orbs and gold as well so it really is worth your time and as always let me know what your experience has been with this update since it's actually taken place do you see a difference in the loot that you're getting from the wheel or does it seem to be the same now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there happen to be a few other things I'd like to go over really quick. First of all, and most of you know this, but if you try to play the DLC offline, you will have access to all four forms of the boss. Therefore, you can unlock all of the new weapons and legendaries at this point and not have to wait the additional three weeks. However, with that being said, before you spin the Wheel of Fate, you want to make sure you go back online and set your world to the highest difficulty chaos-wise that you can. Therefore, you're always getting the best possible possible loot from the wheel. The other recommendation I have is make sure you have different weapon types equipped when you go to do this farm. It is very easy to run out of ammunition. I've had it happen a few times. There are some loot chests around or you know chests that have ammo in them but again make sure you have variations of weapons that way you don't run out as quick. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. And like many of you out there, I really enjoy this game, but I was very let down by the DLC. Now, it's important to mention it is early on and hopefully they make some changes. But for right now, having the ability to stack all of these lost souls, even if it's just for now and you're waiting for other stuff to come out, it's a great opportunity. So I definitely recommend you jump on it as quick as you can. As always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of my Tiny Tina's videos content and remind you if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know in the section down below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.